Okay, welcome into the another day of your strategic human resource manager program. The school not no one teach you into the business school institution at the university that we teach into this strategic human resource manager program free for you into the hundred days. The real skill how to become the strategic human resource business partner and creating the impact into the businesses uh, this is our day number 55 and we are into the section 2 uh, the section 6 or the module 6 that is about the employee engagement how you have to ensure the employee engagement activities into the organization when you have hired the high potential talent but then it is not a way to getting their performance getting the right performance or the achieve the organization objective without defining their accountability and responsibilities so we are continuing the chapter 2 from the previous uh, section about the human resource management as well as the employee engagement into the organization so previously we have been discussed about how you can assure the employee accountability into the organization that is the important one because till then the you are not assuring the accountability of your employee you does not assure the proper accomplishment of the organizational goal because businesses has been established for the achieving the goals or their financial goals especially so in that case what you need to do as in the HR leader or uh, the strategic human resource business partner it is your role to define the strategies and that strategy should be aligned with your uh, organization business and goal to align the employee everyone with the uh, organizational objective and the goals so Number one, it is important for you to assure the accountability of the every individual. Important is here that uh, how you can assure the every individual accountable into your organization. The previously, we have been uh, discussed uh, some purview and the part of uh, the making employee more accountable into the organization. But secondly, it is about the, we have been discussed, the set them clear goals and they, those goals should be defined by the organization. This is the one part and when you are defining the clear goals what are the other steps you require to be perform and you require to be not perform you require to be designed these strategies because you are becoming a strategic human resource business partner however the previously we have also discussed this program is the one hour mba means where it is putting by the managing the employee the managing of the employee or businesses by action as in the strategic human resource the objective is especially as in the strategic human resource to developing the skill all the time that should be the time bounded and for, further that should be cost effective so this is the objective for now it come to the uh, what are the activities you as in the hr need to redefine while you are defining the role of every individual making them accountable so without rule there are the two things you need to be considered number one you need to be make the employee more accountable then you need to be consider the multiple aspect how you can make every employee more accountable into the organization so that they can perform better into the chapter number two we are uh, working on developing the accountability as well as the next part that is about the making them how they can perform better so it is now clearly understood from the chapter that the accountability means you are making them more responsible and accountable they are their responsibilities but are they assuring these responsibilities that is the important part for the hr people how you assure that so then you need to be follow some steps what are those steps let us check here so number one you have to be set the clear goal so setting the clear goal and expectation that is essential uh, the part of holding your team more accountable so first you need to be considered about the setting of the clear goal so number one when it come to the setting of clear goal here, when you are setting the clear goals, question is here, how to set the clear goals for your employee or an organization? So there, it is the one way where you have to be defined there the role and responsibilities. 
so how the role and responsibility would be defined this is the question for you so number one either you can utilize the two way to defining the role and responsibility one it is coming to your employee specific and it is the function function specific so in that case when you are putting it the employee specific so it means you have the the function function means it is the department so when it comes to the department so why the department is existed into the organization because there are some roles and the uh, activity which require to be accomplished by the function so in the department there are now for you are into the hr your role of accountability is to talent acquisition in the talent acquisition you have been acquired there is there are the recruitment and the selection sourcing and then it is now coming to the employee engagement there you require the onboarding then you require the other regular activity then your performance evaluation management then your learning and development your safety into the organization your welfare into the organization so these are the different activities whom it is going to do so second one when it comes to the function so there you need to be consider the hierarchy so hierarchy it is coming to this is the manager their role then it is the deputy manager their role then it is the assistant manager their role then it is about the senior officer their role and then bottom it is the executive and their roles so these are the some effective ways how you can make them because without making accountable your employee it is not effectively it is not effective for the organization to get everyone perform better into the organization because you have been hired someone so objective of the hiring is to you have some goals or organization have some goal that goal required to be achieved how that can be good? because whatever your goal is there your goal is a recruitment your goal is here a recruitment so in that recruitment you have to be define the activity so how to do so the number one list all activities started from where number one you required when you have to be hire someone so first activity is as an hr so there you need to be collect mrf mrf is a manpower or workforce requisition form from the uh, other department who required the workforce so that should be number one prepared by the hod's their signature approved by the management and number two when you have been so second role is here based on the mrf now there you have to prepare the job description when the job description has been done so then it is now the next part defining the salaries to them or either you have already the salary how to define the salary that is the important the compensation manager they will define the self you have the structured already structure your salary so it is now you can effectively so what is the based on the what is required the fresher or required the later higher experience so accordingly your salary would be the min and maximum range for the position is that when the salary you have been defined now it is now you have to be posting posting it as in the uh, ads means either you have the consultant you are using the consultant and you are using the social media or the portal so there you have to be post your vacancies so in that when you have been posted the vacancies so now there you have also some target which is known as the turnaround time so means you have the position so there your turnaround time are the 60 days in the 60 days you have either two level of the one you have to be conclude the position or you have to be deploy the resource conclude the position means you have been selected someone offer you have been given it means you have been 
deploy appointed someone onboarding has been done induction has been done this is the your activities how to make them responsible so it is now whatever the activities it is going to be come it is going to come at the stage of so there may be you have the many activity at the stage of recruitment and selection two three four five six seven eight nine so when these activities you have to be defined then you have to be consider the remarking to them so that is based on what is your objective now into these activities some are the regular activities so you have to define the clear goal so it is number one so that is coming your uh, the we have been called is the stc skills number two on time number three cost effective so you have to define based on the goals so number one goal is to you are going to provide the skilled workforce on time this is your number one objective then number two that you are providing the skill workforce that should be available on the time when you have been defined it that should be on the time then secondly is to that uh, the skill that should be based on what the skill of the define their skills what now required they the essential skill of this and the future potential so it will come from you uh, especially uh, the your recruitment and selection process when the skill you have been defined what it is required then third one you have to keep the your tat down achieve the tat by the 90 percent or either re reduce the turnaround time by this one and then here uh, another is also uh, there should not be uh, the time of lapses you have to be reduce it whatever as of now for example you selected 10 number they are only join the eight number so it means your success are the 80 percent so the 20 percent you have to be reduced so it is you are keeping at the 10 percent now then secondly you have to be put it into the finally you required now the cost effective people keep the recruitment cost how much 20 percent down so that is now your goals has been defined the objective then it come against the objectives when you have been defined the objectives so objective may be one two three objective may be one and then it is your known as a key result where you are going to down so that are the one two three key result you have been defined then now how you are achieving you have to make them processes so what are the processes and actions so that you require to be develop the approaches that should be developed by the individual one so that is about finally you are having one format design the format like this so you should have a clear goal which may become as the one page goal for the every ones so this is your format you have to prepare the goal for a format this is the name of the individual their designation or label their department goal for the year 2024 so now it is a number one the objective designation or what is their role 
based on the objective you have now secondly here for that objective one two three that are key result in that key result next one you have to divide the previously we have been discuss here the task so there you have to in every key result which you are providing the targets that you should have at least one two three task for every activity or every the goal you have been defined or target you have been defined so how you are achieving those tasks so that is called as the process now based on that what would be the final results so this would be your format for the designing of the goals then these goals how you are making these should be uh, your manager as well as the team member they sit together discuss two and three time so finally they make it okay this is not okay this is not okay so finally you defining the all the goals so that is the way of how you can make the employee more accountable then when you have been defined when you have been make them define uh, these goals these will uh, proof defining of the goals by this way it will be a uh, proof and that the prove the mistake proof actions taken by the individual if you define the goal like this you are assuring the mistake proof action by the individual when you have been now define the goal so how you have to be regularized second step is the goal you have been defined here but how to assure making them more accountable so that means you are putting now so there you have to create the channel how you are monitoring these goals so there should be define this goal you have to be defined now when you have to achieve so scheduling how to define so scheduling this is your goal in goal that is your activities that is your schedule either it may be day it may be week it may be your fortnight and then your month activities so this is finally your schedule you are preparing according to your goals when the scheduling you have been done so next step is now the communication or the feedback feedback means both your manager and the team member are discussing around these goals goal are here so this is your goal both uh, these manager and your team leader sitting together and then discussing the progress of your goals so here you have to be create the channel so daily status accordingly weekly status so daily status that how you can start that is your opening into the day and closing into the day so that called as the meeting what are the activities you have been defined for the day so accordingly you can put it into the action and uh, providing the uh, that open activity for the day around your goals and then secondly you can define it there in the closing meeting what are the status for the day you have been concluded when you have been done it so next it come to the then the progress you are required so there you have to be create the parameter for measuring your progress now because it is for the long run so as the you have to now measure measure the progress it does not mean only you have to create in the grid you have to measure the uh, progress so that you have to define the criteria it is also known as a one to five scale 
or as one to three scale it will be depend on you so there if he is effectively working or only one and two time he is achieving so he should be here then second it should be here so accordingly you have to define if all the time he is achieving the good progress so he should be at the five scale number so it means you can define it there if this is it means he required the need the improvement into the action so that's why you have to be change your strategies number two he means achieve the target number three you have to define the level three that means he meet the uh, expectation of your organization then number four exceed the expectation which are according to the goal number five he exceed far from the expectation so based on that you have to be defined so it means so daily activities you have so that need to be chart and that need to be drafted somewhere and make the control over this so that at the end you does not find any difficulties which organization find difficulties related to your annual evaluation so that it was majorly happen on the behavior of three year, three months so that's why when you are controlling it based on the fact based based data so you does not face any issue at the end of the financial year you will get the right performance appraisal or the achieving the goal for the organization so this is all about the session today then we are going to meet into the next session tomorrow there we are going to conclude with how to design uh, your the goals and objective or your plan for individual improvement plan